Hey YouTubers, first video here, bear with me. Uh, what I'm going to do here today is show you how I made a smoke machine after doing a lot of online research and different ideas people had, show you what I came up with and I'm pretty happy with the results. I um, started out with some basic parts here, it's about $20 actually in parts, a little bit less, it is a paint can here, just a regular paint can got from Home Depot and some rubber tubing which I actually got to get some tubes there for a little bit more heat, these get a little bit soft once it starts to heat up. But first thing I was looking for is some nichrome wire and best thing I could come up with in my local area is local parts um, electric supply store is some old heating coil wire so I bought these that were a dollar and I cut off a section and straightened it out sorry about the compressor in the background straightened the section out and what I got is about one and a half ohms on the section that I straightened out and I'll put that around a dowel and just make a coil out of it but it's my piece of night chrome wire and on the paint can I put a couple holes in the top and there's probably better ways of doing this I was going to hook the compressor up to it but then I found the can tips too easy so I'll probably try to come up with something that has a little larger can next time or something heavier on the base but I put those in put some silicone stuff to tighten those up on the lid and then inside I drilled a hole on each side to put some insulated um, binding post in there to connect my wires to, to connect it to the battery or however on there and on the inside, I don't know if you can see that very well or not but I put some clips on it much like on these wire clips here to hold the wire and you'll see, you can kind of see the coil I have in there and I put a wick in there from a oil lamp and to suck up the oil and so the wire is not actually in oil it's taking what's on the wick and the only thing I'm running on plain old baby oil a couple dollars for a bottle and it smokes pretty well actually but take this I won't fasten all the way down but clamp that down so you can get some pressure on there this is my wire and I don't have a car battery right here so I'm just using a converted power supply on the 12 volt setting and you can see plans for this all over online pretty easy to make and the only thing I got is about nine dollars shipped to the house on Amazon is a 12 volt 8 amp adjustable um, dimmer so I can change the um, amperage going into this and I find it's best at the about 1.9 2 ohms or depending how long you cut your wire seems to be about five and a half amps at 12 volts seems to work the best for getting as much smoke as possible I just have a small compressor hooked up here right now and I got a air regulator for Harbor Freight the pressure on the compressor is only set see, see that or not for a couple pounds and then the air regulator I'll turn this on and just keep flow on it but five six dollars at Harbor Freight you can get this just to control the airflow going into the unit itself let me get this turned on let me show you how much smoke I'm getting out of this Yeah, I got power supply turned on, dimmers just going through here and then into the unit itself. You'll see that it's at 12.19 volts, your car battery should work very well at this. Actually, if you set it upright with Ohm's Law, you shouldn't even need the dimmer, but I like being able to adjust the heat going to it. But I'll turn this up, and I got it set. I don't know why the switch is whining a little bit, but I get a little bit of wind out of it. Give it a minute here, and let me show you what I have. Okay, it's been on for about a minute and a half, two minutes now. I got a little bit of smoke coming out of the unit here. I don't know if you can see that. What I'm going to do is turn the air on, airflow here. I can have some air going through the unit. And it's not taking too much. But again, here's what I have for airflow. I mean, I'm smoke coming out and to me that looks pretty close to what the commercial units are um, for about seven eight nine hundred dollars are selling for are producing I don't have you'll see I don't have the lid on here tight and whatever you do don't put this 
you know put this can in something because it does get kind of warm so if you come up with some better ideas let me know but I don't know if you can see that but I have a good flow of smoke coming out of there a very small amount of air pushing it through and I ran this earlier today after I completed it and it went for about 12 minutes straight and I didn't have any trouble with the coil or anything I'm burning up on me so again if I can open this up pretty simple design you see how much smoke it's making it does real well down there with that coil and the wick so I'm gonna go try it out in the car a little bit later but thanks youtubers any suggestions send them to me